Welcome, come into the 530th Carnival of Space. The Carnival is a community of space science and astronomy writers and bloggers, who submit their best work each week for your benefit. So now, on to this week's stories. First, the big news story of the week was that the LIGO scientists who detected gravitational waves awarded Nobel Prize in Physics. Then, we go over to urban astronomer where Alan Versfeld features an interview with Cassini mission scientist Dr. Michelle Doherty. Check out the podcast where they discuss the end of the Cassini mission, and its continuing legacy. Data from the Mercury Atmosphere and Surface Composition Spectrometer, or MASCS, instrument is overlain on the mosaic from the Mercury Dual Imaging System, or MDIS. Credit NASA Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory Carnegie Institution of Washington Next up, Brian Merchaniak over at the Solstice blog shares a double post Many Stars Morning Micromedia writes on Mercury and the trials of solar eclipse photography. Then, Brian Wang over at Next Big Future highlights plans for the U.S. to return to the moon as a top priority. And Elon Musk says that SpaceX is aiming for two rocket landings in 48 hours this weekend. Over at Planetaria, Paul Scott Anderson shares the concept of hopping around on Pluto exciting lander mission concept presented at NASA. A new study by a team from the Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics CFA proposes using a magnetic shield to protect Earth from solar flare activity. Credit NASA Goddard Space Flight Center next, we return here to Universe Today. Matt Williams shares a proposal for a giant, space-based solar flare shield for Earth. Next up, Matt presents new clues for the existence of Planet 9. Finally, Matt details that Tabas star may not be an alien megastructure, but a cloud of dust on a 700-day orbit. Thank you for all of your stories, well see you next week and if you're interested in looking back, here's an archive to all the past carnivals of space. If you've got a space-related blog, you should really join the carnival. Just email an entry to email protected, and the next host will link to it. It will help get awareness out there about your writing, help you meet others in the space community, and community is what blogging is all about. And if you really want to help out, sign up to be a host. Send an email to the above address. Carnival of Space